dark, emo, F the world. What's up, y'all? Today I found a spot that sells a buffalo drumsticks, aka buffalo legs, as I like to call them. That was smudge on my screen. I don't even care. Pretty rare menu item. You don't really see this often. I mean, wings are pretty common. It's like any other part of the chicken. It's like, ah, that won't work with the buffalo sauce. But will it? I don't know. We're going to be finding out today. So this came in a set of 10 buffalo drumsticks here. And I got also what I thought were going to be fries. They look like more like homemade potato chips, which is actually very interesting. I, don't, I just don't really have enough room right now to put... I'll try these later. Not my main focus here. Um, it also came with a little Coke, some ranch, and a couple of vegetable sticks here. And it came out to 23 bucks, so not too bad there. These are pretty large. Let me just show you one. I mean, that's a sizable drumstick, I would say, especially for a Korean chicken. Korean chickens are usually pretty small here. It's looking pretty good, too. I mean, it's looking... Like it's got a good color to it, a nice coating of sauce, evenly coated. It smells pretty good. Uh, let's let's just try it out. Going in. Let me tell you what. Oh my! That caught me by surprise. That first bite there, big chicken, a lot of chicken meat up in there. Still with that kind of crispy outer layer. Um, I think they just threw it right in the deep fryer and then took it out and coated it with the sauce. Basically like a traditional buffalo wing uh, preparation method there, but way more meat. I just took a regular size bite there and that amount of meat in that was probably just as much as a, as a small wing. Um, and unimpeded by bones or anything else. It was just a good solid bite. Yo. You might be thinking, okay, big whoop, same chicken, different part, same sauce, but nah, dude. It's a whole different eating experience. Let me tell you what. Wow, it's super juicy. I mean, smaller wings, you can only have a certain amount of juice in the, a small wing. I'm not hating on wings. I will never hate on wings. I love wings. Top top food right there. But there's something to be said about buffalo legs. Massive bite. You're still getting that good dark meat though. I think I think this place is onto something, man. The ranch sauce isn't really that good, to be honest with you. We're gonna be probably avoiding that for now. But I have more thoughts on this. For one, we gotta talk about the sauce here. Actually, let me try one of these. Sorry, these are just kind of like back here. I don't. Whatever. Here's what they look like, though. I thought they were gonna be French fries. Yo, come on now. These are excellent. Mighty fine. And a good amount of them too. You can go wrong with these pretty easily, I feel like. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of different methods that you could cook these in. And sometimes you'll end up with a non-crispy 
version of it. These have all the right crisp, but also just a tiny bit of chew so you're not eating just like a regular Lay's thin, wispy, crispy thing. You know, you have a, it's a substantial chip. Oh, wow. Perfectly uh, seasoned. Just like a potato chip, but thicker, so like a cracker. Nah, I like those a lot. I can just snack on these all night, which I might do. Back to the chicken legs here, though. The sauce, it is... I, all I'm saying, if this was top-notch buffalo sauce, I would... I might lose my mind. It's not. The chicken, I think it's pretty top notch. They're just falling a little bit short on the sauce. It's got a little bit of the vinegariness. It's got the buffalo flavor. Not a whole lot of butteriness. That I like. And no spice level whatsoever. This is, I would call this milder than mild. And there were no options. To uh, do like medium hot buffalo on these ones, so that's a little bit unfortunate. But now uh, I'd say these are about mild, a little bit of heat, barely detectable if you're looking for it. All I'm saying is, if you get that really good buffalo sauce mixture, that's vinegary, buttery, buffalo y, and throw these on some some legs. I would highly recommend that. Maybe you should do this for your next party. Or get together, Super Bowl party, whatever. I don't know, maybe this is more popular than I think it is. I've just never really seen it before. And if you pull this out, you know, I'm pretty sure you can just buy big packs of drumsticks, fry them up. I guess you would need like a large fryer. That's the only, that's the only thing. Hypothetically, you could cook these in an oven or a grill or whatever come with that good concoction for the sauce throw this out on the table when everyone's hungry and ready to eat some buffalo wings and you're like oh surprise we got buffalo legs so juicy so meaty every bite whole different experience The only thing against this that I would say, I love the flats on regular buffalo wings because you can really do minimal work to get all of the meat and cartilage off of those bones. You know, like the real pros, they do like a couple twists and then they just slide off all of the meat. I'm not exactly to that level yet. With this, you're gonna be doing more picking. With the teeth, and you might get little, little sharp needles in there. I'd say it's pretty much worth it. Try one of these carrots. Mm. I was going to do a different video today. Um, it's twice now that I've ordered from this restaurant, not this one, but this other restaurant and they cancel on me like after 20 minutes and it just drives me insane so my mind might be well my mind was on what I was going to talk about in that other video to be honest so I'm sorry I might be talking about some random things today now that we've covered the flavor and the texture and all the good things about these wings um, I'm sorry, not wings, legs, drumsticks. I would say one drumstick has two to three times the amount of meat of a regular wing. Pretty obvious, I guess, but 
Oh, no, speaking of drumsticks, I went to this jazz club last night. Go. Oh. They actually didn't have a drummer there. It was a weird ensemble. They had like two guitarists, a bassist, and a violinist. And they were playing some crazy stuff. But I was really vibing out front row. And I was like, man, let me get on those drums and just screw up your whole set. No, I used to play, I used to be into, like that was my thing. It wasn't like video games or skateboarding or I would do a couple things, but it was like, Music. I would play drums back in high school, probably from the age of like 15 to 17. Just every day, going to home, going to, you know, and playing drums, guitar. I'd try to dabble with bass a little bit, electric bass. And for hours, cranking that music, just letting out all my aggression on those drums and cymbals. Her driving everybody crazy. It was amazing. And I miss those times. I, I haven't played a guitar. I haven't touched one in probably a decade. I had some pretty nice ones. I had a, my first guitar ever. Probably, when I, probably 14, 15. It was a uh, Fender Strat Sunburst. Ooh, a classic. Real classic. But, that was when I was like first starting out. I didn't really know, I wasn't even really into rock music. I just wanted to mess around with the guitar. So the more I got into rock, I, you know, I developed into this. I was, I was into like Blink-182 and stuff, but then as I listened to more, I got more edgy more dark, emo, F the world. Uh, and so I started listening to like hardcore stuff. Hardcore, emo, post-hardcore, stuff like that. If you don't know about guitars, I guess this will all be kind of boring. But anyway, I switched to the, I sold that guitar and I got an Epiphone. It's a Les Paul Black with like a cream, pick guard because I wanted that that humbucker sound that deepness that I'm playing those solos out here that thing was pretty sick it does look cool man my brother had a premier kit drum kit Sabian cymbals for a while there I switched and I was like guitars were cool but I was more into drums Good times, man. Formed several bands. Tried to. First one was called like Blame the Foreigner. And uh, that was the Foreigner in that one. Element of Surprise. Still a really good band name in my opinion. All of these really. One of our best shows was uh, the Halloween show. So we set up all our stuff in our driveway when kids are coming up trick or treating, and we're just playing some spooky, some graveyard schniz, if you feel what I mean. And like Blink 182 stuff, aliens exist. problem was I wasn't that good at guitar I could do basics I think I would, could be a decent rhythm guitarist but the problem was everyone else sucked even more than me at everything so I was like carrying the whole band but um, you know it is what it is I think there's some old lost VHS footage of that somewhere hopefully um, I did an open mic at some like coffee shops Played at this girl's birthday party with it with different different groups here.
covers mostly. Mm. So much chicken. This is absurd. Anyway, yeah, man, it just got me inspired last night. The thing is, I'm one of those people who hates accumulating things. Because I live my life a quarter mile at a time. So I never know what comes next. I don't want to be accumulating things right now. Maybe here in a few years. <clears throat> Um, but yeah, nah. Wow. Of course, one thing about these, talking about food again, your ratios will never quite be the same. So if you're a real big saucer, um, you're going to get more surface area compared to middle meat with a wing compared to this, just because there's so much meat inside, but only so much surface area. chips sorry for the bad presentation on this one I wasn't really sure I wanted yeah anyway Here I say, there's more meat on these than uh, compared to a uh, boneless chicken buffalo, what? What do they call those? Boneless buffalo wing. Maybe way more too. Yeah, like I said, I don't know if you can find these in the wild, but if you're a pro home chef, pro home cook, I put these on the list. That being said, I guess you would need a spread because I just took down 10 pretty easily, so. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, now that I think about it, these are quite small compared to the, the drumsticks I remember eating in America, but it is what it is. Those chickens over there are insane. And what a perfect little side. All right, y'all. I'm just getting out of here. Shirt check. Yeah, I think we passed. Thanks for watching this one. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.